Flatters up from behind. Last race of the afternoon and runners dispatched from the 1,200 meter mark and Barcelona immediately switches out and tucks in races from the back end of the field, goes right down towards the inside rail. All about I was one of the first ones to respond. Champion Warrior Dean Street also up there in a handy position with Admiral Dooley Mount Pleasant. They made a line of five contesting for that early lead. Settling just off the early pace is Radner Lothbrock who's joined to race alongside Wyatt. Then comes Iconic Destination as they go past the final 700 metres. Barcelona's further back and running. Then comes Tough Terrain Poroshka. And We Can Go All Night is content to bide his time at the back end of the field about eight lengths separating first to last past the final 550 metres they go. Dean Street's now won the battle for the lead, is the leader by half a length. Admiral Dooley's right up there in contention with Mount Pleasant. Then comes Radner Lothbrock, deep route, all about Al as well as Wyatt. As they go past the final 400 metres, past the false rails, Dean Street, Hanning Tuff goes two lengths clear out the track chasing his Wyatt with Mount Pleasant and Radner Lothbrock. It's Dean Street still in front of the into the closing stages. Dean Street, Mount Pleasant, Radner Lothbrock, all about Al deep route with Wheat and Joe all night. Who's starting to run him smartly on the outside. Wheat and Joe all night, Radner Lothbrock, Dean Street into the closing stages. We can go all night quickly enough. Ratner Lothbrot handing tough. Ratner Lothbrot on the line from We can go all night. Then came Dean Street Poroshka further back with Mount Pleasant. And a long way back to Barcelona Admiral Dooley, champion warrior. The winner, the white sleeves with the blue star, two from the right hand side. Now moves past Mount Pleasant. Dean Street in front, trying to go barrier to bots. But now Ratner Lothbrot comes straight through the center of the track. And a brilliant ride by Keenan Stain and We Can Go All Night to switch completely towards the outside and came home too late, tried to do it, a repeat of his last win, but it was too little too late as number four, Ratna Lothbrot, wins well into the closing stages and closes off proceedings here at Hollywood Bets, Kenilworth Racecourse. Number four, Ratna Lothbrot, the winner. Race 9, Hollywood Bets Bright Future Class 3 has been won by number 4, Ragnar Lothbrok. Lothbrok. His uh, son of Ersinger gets tricks from the pit board yard. Lovely win from him. Well done to Nguleli Zihleli. He receives his 1,000 rand from Hollywood Bets. So thank you to them and Cape Racing. Keenan Stain was the jockey aboard. Well done. Thank you so much. Yeah, all credit to Pete. He's tried something different with this horse and uh, it's worked out perfectly. His work at home has been phenomenal as well, but... You just never know with him, he's, he's never put up bad work. And he's never disgraced himself, but the way he works at home, you'd expect him to come here and win by two. But I'm just glad that he's passed the post first, and uh, big thanks to all the owners. There's so many, Mr. Karras, Mikey, Mr. Nal, um, Spoonstein. Um, just, yeah, if I'm missing anyone, I'm, I apologise. Just a big thanks to them and the big supporters, and, and a huge thanks to, to Pete. I don't know if you saw or could hear Sean flying up at, at any point did you think, oh, this, is a line going to come at any point? I was praying for that line and I actually thought, he flew up so quickly, I wasn't even sure if I, if I held on. Um, but take nothing away from me, he won a good race and uh, yeah, thanks to the whole team. I really appreciate the support that they give me, um, more than words can, can say, but um, yeah. I think just with regards to Pete, uh, often mentions it when I when I interview him in the mornings with regards to your riding and that, and it's you've been holding on in very tight finishes. So well done, Sparky. Yeah, uh, hopefully this can uh, put my strike rate up a little bit. But um, yeah, big thanks to Pete. Um, he's such a gentleman to work for, and it just makes our job a whole lot easier. Well done. Thank you. Uh, thanks to my sponsors, Griffin Capital Wealth and TV Markets, and to everyone again. Well done. Thanks. There you go. That's uh, Keenan Stain running off the meeting with a win. And uh, well done to Pete Porter. Well done for the win. Thank you very much, Vicky. I know that uh, whenever you speak about uh, Ragnar, you always say he's doing well. He's an honest type of horse. So wonderful that he's um, duly obliged and rewarded you today. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, he's just been wanting the soft going. That's, that's what he likes. And um, we've been waiting for it. And, uh, you know, when, when it started raining the other day, I got very excited about it. And my only concern really was the 1,000 metres. But... Um, I thought Keenan rode a fantastic race, and, and I, I just need to point out, in, in the racing industry, you can't always follow stats. So to all those people that keep running Keenan down, just go and watch this race and tell me what you think afterwards, because that was a fantastic ride. You cannot produce the, the goods without the, without the gun. So, um, you know, if he doesn't get the good rides, he's not going to have the winners. Um, but he is a good rider and, and I'm, I'm, I'm very, very happy that I know he had a lot of pressure uh, on this horse 
and I'm very happy uh, that, that he pulled it off. Um, very thankful that all the owners are here. Barry uh, obviously knows how to pick his days because uh, he doesn't really make it, but he made it today, so th thank you, Barry. Um, yeah, very happy. But I think with regards to um, yards and then I think, you know, it's the, the rapport because, I mean, you, you must work with Keenan quite a bit in the mornings and that builds then the confidence within the, within the stable and within the team. You, you, I don't think people realise the, the importance of a jockey in the morning and, and Keenan works very hard. He's there every morning uh, besides Fridays when he's obviously in PE. But the feedback that you get, it's very easy to sit and watch horses run past and, and, and you know, say, this is what I want the horse to do. But if the jockey can't come back and give you good feedback and say how the horse is handling it and that, you don't really know where to, where to go. And work riders, they, they work very hard, but they, all they know is, is good and fine, okay. And, and that's not what you need. You can't work on that. So um, vitally important. And, and that's why I get, I get really happy when I see the likes of Devin and Ozzy and, and these guys doing well because they work hard. They, they're there every morning, so they deserve it. As do you. Well done, Pete. Thank you so much. There you go. That's uh, Pete Boerter. And uh, I'm not getting all of them. They all come racing. They haven't all come to chat to me. <laughs> I want to talk to you. Well done. Thanks very much. It was, look, that finish. It was mighty close. Sean was flying. I thought, oh, they're like in city. I was praying for the line. Were you? No, not really. I know this also got a fantastic cruising speed. Um, he's done it before in the wet. Just kind of look at his wet runs. Um, so I wasn't too worried. Um, okay, maybe a little. <laughs> Because my fellow owners over there own the other one as well. So, but Pete was a little bit under pressure with this horse. I think I put him under a bit of pressure. Um, but fantastic ride, McKinnon. And well done to Pete. He really deserves it. We had an iffy day today. We thought it would be a bit better. And well done to Ron and Barry and my good friend Jan Mantel on the farm. I hope he's watching. And I think with regards to this horse, he's just so rewarding and consistent. Do you enjoy being part of him? Um, yes, I do. I won't go into the long story about how we acquired him, but um, he's a nice horse, and um, you know he's not—he's been placed correctly in the right races, and um, he won't stop winning you. Well done for the win, and enjoy the celebration. Thank you. Thanks, Vicky. Lovely to have uh, the whole Ragnar Lothbrok team together with regards to the son of Racing Getrix rounding off the day with a win. Well done to all the winning uh, partners that will standing here in the, the wings, not all coming to chat to me, but uh, they'll definitely be enjoying the celebrations. And well done to Millstream Farm for breeding, Kinnenstein for riding. It was a mighty close finish, but a wonderful way to end off the day at Hollywood Beds Kenilworth. Thank you very much for joining us, and we'll see you again on the 4th of June. Look forward to it. Have a good uh, week ahead.